Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this background. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New, change the units to inches, the width to 18 inches and the height to 12 inches. Now press the letter Z for the Zoom tool and while holding down the Alt key, click on the artboard a few times to zoom out. Next we'll set Guides. Go to the Line Segment tool, click on it, hold and select the Rectangular Grid tool. Now double click on it to open the Options window. Set the width to 30 inches, the height to 30 inches, the horizontal dividers to 10 and the vertical dividers to 10. Now click somewhere here, hold and while pressing down the Shift key Drag it down. Make sure the grid extends past the artboard. Next, go to the Align panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Align. Make sure the Align to Artboard is checked and select the Horizontal Align Center and the Vertical Align Center. If you would like to change the scale of your pattern, increase or decrease the scale of your grid. Now we will rotate it by 45 degrees. Hover over the top right corner and when you see the double-sided arrow, click, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift key as well. This will rotate the object by 45 degrees increments. Next, using the grid as a template, we will create guides. First, go to View Select Guides and choose Make Guides. Let's lock layer 1, create a new layer and zoom in on the artboard. Now we will cover this artboard with a gradient. Swap the fill and the stroke and choose one of the preset gradients or make your own. I'm going to use a gradient I've made before. It's a simple two color gradient. Now press the letter M for the Rectangle tool or choose it from the Toolbar panel. Then click on the top left corner, hold and drag to cover the whole artboard. Now using the Knife tool we will follow the grid lines to give us a cut pattern. Select the Knife tool. It is hidden under the Eraser tool. Now a very important note. To make a straight 45 degree cut line, first press and hold down the ALT key and then click on the grid line away from the artboard, hold and drag. While dragging your mouse, press and hold down the SHIFT key as well. Now click past the artboard, release your mouse and then release both keys. Let's do the same with all the other lines. Press and hold down the ALT key, click on the grid line, hold and drag. And again. And so on until you get to the last grid line. Now do the same with the lines going the other direction as well. Let's change the color of the orange lines so we can see them better. Double click on layer 2. Then click on the color box and choose blue. Next we will select every other square and reverse its gradient to get this look. First go to the direct selection tool and click away from the artboard to deselect. Now select this square and while holding down the shift key skip one and select the next one. Then apply the reverse gradient. And do the same with the other rows. Select the top one, then skip one, select the next one, skip one again and select the last one. And apply the reverse gradient again. And so on until you get to the opposite corner of the artboard. Next we will need to group all these separate shapes together so they won't shift during the next few steps. To do that, select everything, 
and either press the Ctrl and G keys on your keyboard or right click with your mouse and choose Group. Now let's duplicate this group layer. Click on it, hold and drag it to the Create New Layer icon. And we've got a second copy. Let's change its style. Open the Transparency panel, set the Blending Mode to Multiply and the Opacity to 80%. Let's zoom out. Now using the Selection tool, click on the bottom right corner, hold and while pressing down the Shift key, drag it out to make it bigger. Then click on it again, hold and move it up or sideways to get a different effect. Just play with it. You can leave it as this or you can add more layers. Let's duplicate this layer one more time. And change its blending mode. You can experiment with different blending modes and see what you prefer. I'm going to choose Lighten and change the opacity to 50%. Let's rotate it to get a different effect. And finally, we will trim everything outside of the artboard. To do that, we will use the Clipping Mask. First, select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangular mask to cover the whole artboard. Whatever the mask is covering, it will be revealed and whatever is not covered, it will be hidden. First, select everything and then press the Ctrl and 7 buttons on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Of course, you can experiment with a different grid size or color of your gradient. And now you are ready to place your artwork. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.